What is going on guys? 9.30 a.m. Currently on our way to the gym. Um, today's Saturday by the way. So I'm honestly not too sure when this video is gonna be live. Hopefully it is up by Monday at the latest. But beautiful day. It's 65 degrees according to the thermos, uh, thermometer right here on the truck. And um, I don't know. It's really like they said it was a cold front. But it's really just like a. It's just fresh. It's not even cold. Um, however, you know, there's a lot of people walking around with jackets and, and stuff like that. And personally, in my opinion, if it's not even that cold to be wearing a freaking jacket. But like I said, Saturday morning, what better way to start your day off than going to the gym? Personally, I think that's the best way. Um, we're going to be heading to the gym. Some chest and shoulders. I'm not sure who's there right now. Mondo should be there, Robbie should be there. Um, I was supposed to record a, a workout with a couple of other friends, but one of them had to work last minute and the other guy couldn't find a ride. And um, I just got to share that with you guys. But today, just have some huge plans coming. Huge plans. Um, I think we're going to go to a firing, firing range today, a shooting range. So that should be fun. And then, of course, we have to get something to eat. But, just gonna bring you guys along my day, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Started before everything starts rolling, before like the video starts getting kind of interesting. Um, I like having this like personal talk, and um, if you guys do enjoy it, please leave a comment down below so I can know. Um, if, if not, you know maybe I should just cut it out. But I just feel like it, it should go in there just. For some reason, it just feels good to throw out personal information out there with you guys. Just to keep it, you know, real on a one-on-one -on -one level. Anyway, today is October 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, guys. No, 20 today is October 22nd. That means I only have nine days till I leave to Air Force BMT. And um, I remember telling you guys, oh, I have like 17, 18 days left. And where'd that time go? Like, I'm just wondering how, like, it just amazes me how fast each and every day I get, that gets closer to October 31st is just going by so fast. On our way to the gym, about to get there like in three minutes. So I'll see you guys inside. What is going on, guys? Coming back to you guys with the commentary. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. By the way, this is not the whole workout. If you want to know the whole workout, it'll be in the, the description box down below. So to start off, we hit some pec fly machine to pre-exhaust the muscle. And lately, guys, I've been incorporating tons of incline movements to really give me that full chest look to really fill out that portion next to your collarbone area. You don't want to be looking having collarbones looking all skinny and stuff so really trying to focus and not moving too much heavy weight as you guys can tell pushing those 65s i could really do 85s but i will not hit 10 to 12 reps and i'm really trying to get that to really get to hit hypertrophy and really get that muscle to grow stretch and squeeze and as you guys just saw hit, hitting hammer strength but before i started i retracted my scapula to really give the chest lots of um how can i say it you really focus on the chest more when you retract your scapula it allows it to work more and then i actually started hitting the shoulders after this hitting some lateral raises and really try to get that slight pause at the top nothing too crazy then i started with some front raises up next for the shoulders and uh like again nice controlled movement pause at the top and uh no swinging no jerking let the muscles do all the working did some seated machine lateral raises, super seated with some rear delts because you can't forget the rear delts. A lot, of, a lot of people don't know that the delts are made up of three muscle, three muscle groups. Well, not three muscle groups, but three different kinds of muscles: the front delt, lateral delt, and then you got your rear delt. And um, pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little commentary, guys. And uh, let's get on to the video. Feeling nice and full. Just got done with my workout, post-workout shake, still got to finish my BCAs, about to head home and eat some breakfast, guys. Man, guys, honestly, some people don't have any, like, honestly, some people don't have any, like, sense when it comes to reversing 
almost got hit right now. Someone literally almost ran my ass over. Damn, man. It's crazy. Look back when you reverse, people. Fuck. Look at your rear view mirrors or something. Gosh. He's trying to over here hospitalize people. Alright guys, so as you guys just saw, that was Chipotle, and for you guys who don't know, they just opened that about like, I say like three, maybe three and a half weeks ago, and um, it's always, always insanely packed, like you go at any time and it'll be packed, I guess the reason, for you guys who don't know, like where I live, the Rio Grande Valley, it's split up basically into two sections, the west side of the valley, with, there's two counties, Stark County and Hidalgo County, and then the east side of the valley, which is where I live on, and that's Cameron County and Willacy County. Well, on the e on the east side of the valley, there's only one Chipotle, and it's right here in front of the gym. On the west side of the valley, if I'm not mistaken, there has there's two, maybe three. So everyone, of course, on the east side, is if they were craving Chipotle, they're not gonna want to drive all the way to the west side of the valley. So they're coming over here, and this place is just always packed. I'm pretty sure there's people from like pretty good amount of distance on the east side driving just to eat some Chipotle, and um, it's just crazy. That's why I hardly ever go sometimes because it's just always too packed, and um, I'd rather just stick with Chick-fil-A, honestly. Just for convenience wise, if I'm gonna get something out to eat, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd share that little, you know, update with you. All right guys, so right now it's about five, uh, 6 p.m. and um, I had trouble with my memory card after the gym. It was it was saying my, my storage was full, this and that, and I literally only had like three or four videos on my memory card. So, I was at my sister's house, I had to clean out the memory card, which there was nothing on it, which I don't see what, like, what was the problem and it finally like I guess it like, restarted and went back to normal and uh, everything's back to normal now so I'm finally gonna record and um, it's around 6 I'm gonna leave to my friend Alyssa's house she invited me over for a barbecue just to hang out with her and stuff because she goes to school in San Antonio and I haven't seen her in like five six months so I'm about to see her again and um, pretty much it i'll probably bring you guys along honestly and uh, tomorrow's gonna be a better day because tomorrow we're going to the shooting range with the family it was initially going to be today but my friends got busy and um, my family decided okay well we'll just go tomorrow as a fa uh, like a family trip i guess you could say so pretty look like really looking forward to that so i'll be sure to bring you guys along all right guys about to take off to Alyssa's house rocking this h&m fishtail long tee with some distressed H&M jeans and some tan dress shoes. So that's what I'm about to wear. And um, I'll bring you guys along just for a bit. Because I'm not too sure how our family is going to be like reacting to me vlogging it and stuff. So but I'll, be, I'll be sure to bring you guys along. So see you guys there. <laughs> Alright guys, just got to Alyssa's house. I haven't seen her in a while, so she'll be pretty fun. And um there she is. Look at Alyssa. What is going on guys? So as you guys just saw, 10.07 a.m. And I'm um, getting ready for the gym. Just finished making my BCAs. So, you know, my cabinet's open. Uh, my BCAs pre-workout and um, about to head to the gym and hit some legs. Just because I put some other workout footage in here, I'm just, I might like throw in a couple of clips of working out, but I'm not gonna do any like commentary or edit on this video. Um, because like I feel like later on in the day is gonna be pretty exciting, so. Hopefully you guys can stay tuned, but as of right now, we're about to head to the gym, so I'll see you guys inside the truck. Yo guys, if you guys haven't checked out Alphalete Sound or Shredding, what, what is it? 
Shredding songs on SoundCloud, you guys are missing out. That's like literally some of the best music to listen to while working out. Well, I'm about to go inside the gym, mess up these weights, and I'm about to bring you guys along. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What is up guys? Just finished a really great leg workout. Super high intensity and um, honestly, my legs are feel like jello right now. Well, I'm about, I just got this hazelnut vanilla shake. Um, two scoops of protein. And uh, when I get home, I live right in front of the park. In case you guys don't know, there's like a really big park in front of my house. And uh, I'm just gonna go strap up some cleats. They have a football field there. And I'm gonna do some hit cardio. And uh, I'm trying to arrange about 300 calories burn, and pretty much it, guys. I'll bring you guys along to show you guys what I'm gonna be doing for hit cardio, and I'll see you guys there. What's up, guys? So I'm already here at the park. Check it out. I literally live right in front of it. I walk literally like uh, like a minute walk, and. Uh, I brought my cleats and some of you guys are probably wondering why'd you bring cleats? I, I don't know really like when I strap my cleats on it feels like I could just go a little harder like it just reminds me of football I guess you can say and uh, it just gives me that little extra push it just it's just like this weird feeling if all you football players know when you strap on those cleats you guys can relate to this once you strap on those cleats it just feels like you have this sort of like extra human strength in you well personally in my opinion but we're about to hit some hit cardio and i'll see you guys in a bit i'm at the field already check it out this is the field park so let's get it I got a crick in my neck, limp in my step, cramping in my muscles every time I try to flex. The broken, not really in the right mindset to see no pain. Oh, pain. Never really been thought out like a politician, but I, but you made me listen to your petition around. Let it all get What is going on guys? Just finished some hit cardio and uh, it's pretty intense honestly. Uh, I feel my calves pretty tight right now. I think my mom's coming right there so she might give me a ride home. Um, really good session and uh, I think I hit like a whole total of a mile but I did 10 sprints, 10 sprints of 100 yards but in between one I just walk. Walk 100 yards, do a sprint of 100 yards, back and forth 10 times. Really good, a little hit cardio session. I'm about to go home, about to get there, making 400 yards, and uh, about to eat some breakfast. So, I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so I have some good news and I have some bad news. Good news is, I'm about to eat. My dad's making a barbecue outside, threw some chicken breast on the grill. My mom was making, um, she boiled like potatoes, and she was gonna make baked, I mean, uh, what is she gonna make? Potato salad, I'm sorry, but I just got plain potatoes. And um, she made some rice, so I'm gonna have some of that. Some chicken wings, grilled as well, and uh, some steaks are gonna be making. So I'm gonna be eating really good. I'll show you guys what I'm about to eat. But the bad news is, my sister, who's the one who's gonna be taking me to the shooting range, um, just informed me that she got out of work at 8 a.m. Um, right now, she's still tired, and I totally understand. You know, work comes first. And uh, she just rescheduled it for tomorrow, so 
I'm gonna have to end like the end of this day will end this video but I will vlog tomorrow and that will be a totally different uh, video in the, uh, that will be coming up in the future so hopefully you guys can watch this next video but for right now let's get back to this one that you're currently watching uh, I'm about to take you guys outside my grandpa's out there so I'm gonna go say hi to him and uh, see you guys in a bit that's guiding him Alright guys, so that that you just saw was Olivia. That's one of my really good friends. She has not been on this channel yet, but you're about to meet her right now. Um, she goes to school in Corpus Christi, and that's like a couple of hours away from where I live. So basically, I don't think she's going to be here when I leave in like like eight days. I, I think I'll leave like in eight days, October 31st, yeah. Um, she won't be here, so I'm gonna tell her goodbye right now, and I'm really close to her mom like We're like basically Olivia and I are like family, you know like a brother and sister That's what basically the way I see her and um, it's much more than just a best friend I can tell you that so we basically grew up together and um, That's why she, you guys are gonna meet her right now. So see you guys at Olivia's house, which is like two minutes away from my house, so See you guys there. Olivia, what are you doing? This is my YouTube channel. Say Hi. hello. Hello. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I just left Olivia's house, and um, her family is basically, like, seriously one of the sweetest families I've ever met. Um, her dad and her mom always give me the most encouraging, uh, like, words, you know? They always give me those really words that motivate you to keep doing more in life, and uh, it's just honestly what's really great people. And uh, I just want to thank Olivia. I know you're watching this right now. Thank you for just being an amazing friend. Honestly, anytime, anytime I need you, you're always there for me, no matter what. Um, but yes, guys, it's uh, I just really enjoyed the company to meet them and saying goodbye to them one last time. And hopefully, Olivia will be at my graduation somewhere between December 20th and December 30th. And that's pretty much it. Right now, I'm heading home. I'm about to go grab a bite to eat. My dad was making on the grill, and uh, you guys will see what I'm up to. So, catch you guys there. Oh yeah, Ray was there too. Yeah, Ray was there uh, hanging out with us. Um, you know, we're just one huge, big, like, not huge, but we're just one tight-knit group that we're always together no matter what. And whenever we get the opportunity to spend time with each other, that's what we do, and yeah, guys, so I'll see you guys at the house. Guys, so, um, finished eating a while back but then my parents decided to leave they went to like some church how can I say it like the church was hosting like some festival thing I guess you can say and um, they went to that with my sister my brother and my other younger brother but right now I'm just here currently at home watching some uh, paranormal activity I need to see what the name is paranormal paranormal activity the marked ones and honestly it's been good so far I just started like 15 minutes ago but yeah, that's pretty much it and uh, Ray should be coming in a bit we're gonna be hanging out and uh, be sure to introduce you guys to you know Ray you guys already met him but I'll show you guys Ray what are you doing? for what? the pumpkin carving action? yeah what is going on guys so uh, I honestly forgot to take my camera with me when me and Ray went to the store, um, he picked up the ice cream right there, and I picked up this Halo Top ice cream. It's already done, I finished it, um, but that's pretty much it. That's going to conclude today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and um, thank you guys for watching. Seriously, it means a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one.